What up guys, welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. We are whipping up a delicious Moroccan inspired chicken and a Moroccan salad. You do not want to miss it. We're going to build a pita. If you are ready to roll up your sleeves for this delicious meal, then let's get started. All right guys, first thing we're going to do is make the rub for our Moroccan inspired chicken. So, got some smoked paprika, mix in some cumin, some beautiful turmeric, a little bit of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and some ginger. Gonna add a pinch of some sea salt and some pepper, and give this a good stir. Now you can either spray your chicken breast or you can just add about a teaspoon of olive oil, and then we're going to sprinkle in our rub. Get your hands dirty and mix it all together, and these should be super, super fragrant. Now we're gonna set these aside to marinate for at least 20 minutes. Okay, now it's time to make our delicious Moroccan salad. So we are going to do a lot of chopping, a lot of prepping. So start out with a cucumber and we're going to peel it. Looks just like this. And then we're gonna chop off the ends so it's easier to cut. Then we're gonna slice this right down the middle. Okay, now a very important step here. You're gonna grab yourself a little teaspoon or a spoon and we're gonna carve out, scrape out the seeds. And then we're gonna just dice this up. So I like to slice mine about three times. And then do the same thing to the other half. So I got the cucumbers, now we're gonna move on to the tomatoes. Now I've already diced up some of the Roma tomato, but I found this beautiful yellow heirloom tomato. I thought it'd be nice to add a pop of color. So we're gonna dice this one up as well. And I cut out the inside as well with the seeds, and then dice these up as well. Okay, now let's build our salad and bring everything together. I'm gonna add in the cucumber. Here's some tomato. We've got some diced red onion, some kalamala olives, some parsley, and some fresh lemon. Gonna add in some sea salt and some pepper, and then some olive oil. Stir, mix everything together. Should be a beautiful, vibrant color. Do a quick taste test and see what it needs. That's perfect. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna eat this entire bowl. Man, that's good. Let's place this aside and let this rest, and now let's fire up our chicken breast. Now we're gonna fire up a skillet, place it on a medium-high heat. Now once the skillet's nice and hot, we're gonna add in some olive oil, move that around here, and then add in our chicken breast. If you're doing this for keto, you can absolutely use some chicken thighs, or if you just want a tastier option, not scared of the fat, get you some chicken thighs. What we're looking for here is just to do a nice sear on the chicken breast. So again, this is my method for cooking chicken and in almost any protein, we're gonna sear, then bake. So fire up your oven to 420 and we're gonna bake this in the oven for about six to eight minutes until the chicken is completely cooked all the way through. All right, now let's bring everything together and build our epic Mediterranean chicken pita. Grab some chicken and we're gonna just slice it. Okay, next you're gonna grab yourself a whole wheat pita. Now you can slice this in half and make them into pockets or you can just use the pita like this. Now instead of mayo, we're gonna be using some tahini. Just smear this on here as the base. Add some salad. Then top it off with a beautifully cooked chicken breast. One final drizzle of tahini if desired. Add some more parsley. All right, moment of truth, I'm so excited. Y'all don't understand, this is one of my favorite salads, my favorite foods, basically, but one of my favorite salads. I can eat this salad every single day. Oh, I know this is gonna be awesome because it's what I make for myself. You could just fold it up just like this, get real disrespectful with it. And let me get a nice bite here. Mmm, mmm. One thing that you're gonna notice from the get-go, just from the very first bite, it's just that you are going to get a medley of different flavors. You're gonna have a little bit of sweetness coming with the chicken, a little bit of, um, you got the crunch with the salad, but just, this salad is so refreshing. It kind of livens it up. 
and marries the two flavors together. The sweetness from the chicken and this salty, citrus, um, refreshing salad. Oh, mm. You got the creaminess too from the tahini. This is just, I dare you not to like this. Mm, 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 mm. That's how good it was. It deserved a dab. Dab. Dab, dab. <laughs> yes, you gonna try this, bro? Yeah, I know. I see you've been a little, little generous corner. there. This little corner. There you go. I got you. Now I know why you danced the way you did. Mm -hmm. Pause it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish it. Okay, I told you I'm gonna finish it. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Boom. Mm. Heck yeah. That is it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you like Mediterranean recipes like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And if you have a few more seconds, comment below and let us know how much you enjoy these types of recipes because that really helps us out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 before you head out so that way you can be notified whenever we post hot new content here on the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, we we'll try to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom! I'm gonna go finish this, for real. I only got two more bites. That's, that's really sad, <laughs> but it's just that good. Mm -hmm. Bye, Kevin. Bye. Enjoy your oh, lunch. bye, y'all.